Lavas Mutlala. He was a defender, but we found him scoring a goal. I don't know where we found this footage of him pushing that far up the field. Look, celebrate Angati. Yeah, he nearly ran out of the stadium. Played for Amazulu. Look at him, he's still going. <laughs> Played for Amazulu, Cosmos, uh, uh, Sundowns. Began his career at Wits. Uh, under 17 captain, under 23 captain, under 20 captain. Nine caps for Bafana Bafana. Uh, a defender that took absolutely no prisoners. A defender that would kick you into the stands as far as he ran into the stands to uh, celebrate this goal. Goal. A footballer that really was one of those that should have gone on to tremendous heights. But we'll talk about that very shortly. I'm going to come and introduce him to you properly. He's sitting here with me. But you guys are talking on Twitter, so it's disrespectful not to read that. Um, Tunzi T. Lamini says, uh, Zungu must go and try his luck. Maybe he can do better. Remember, this chance comes once in a lifetime, so take it. And then uh, the Black Kid says, uh, uh, Sport at 10 TV, I think Kama and Keegan could do well abroad. I start to suspect that you support another team because you're finishing sundowns. Kama, Keegan, as well as Zungu, if they all went overseas at the same time. Xeleban. Uh, looking uh, further down the list, uh, Lindani says, Orlando Pirate Striker, Erasmus deserves to go overseas. And uh, then uh, Sestolo says to me, I don't think there's anything wrong with what Gail did. Let's not forget, Casillas kissed someone live on TV. Well, the opposite of that is Ace Mashuru who says, it's unprofessional and disrespectful. Respect, woman. But I could do the same to Romy Titus, he says. Oh, all right. Uh, uh, there are some interesting tweets coming through and keep sending them. But now, let me introduce you to him. Lavas Mutala, welcome to Sport 10. How are you? I'm finding you, my chef. I'm good. First of all, before we go far, please tell South Africans, which mean and now how far back we go. Yeah, 1990, 1989, advice, 1990, 1991, under 16. You played soccer, man. Yeah. I want people to know, same team. Yeah. At junior level, no lovers. I was the striker, you were the <laughs> defender. Uh, and I used to go back there and say, <laughs> No, it was the other way around, actually. But lovers. Um, I think what a lot of South Africans want to know right now about you is where are you? What are you doing? Uh, I'm busy with my foundation, mm -hmm. um, trying to tell the kids or people that dream to be professional players that um, a celebrity life can be a harmful life. Mm. Um, we tend to focus on to pl um, to tend to focus to play soccer and forget that we need to study so that after retiring we can rely on something. Mm. But today we can see that school was important. Soccer was just a temporary career mm. that doesn't last long. I mean, I read articles um, that were saying Lavas Mutlala is broke, uh, almost broke. He doesn't have money anymore. He lived a long lifestyle. Is that the case? It's not, it's not, it's not a matter of being broke. You know, whoever I understood that I'm broke, <laughs> I've, never been, I've, never, I've never been rich. Mm. And uh, people just start to, they, they, they speculate. They always say that uh, he wasted money. They don't know how much was I earning. If I can tell them now, they'll be, they, you know, they'll be embarrassed themselves. They say, "Oh, we thought he was earning so much." The problem is one: if they see you on TV, they think you're making money, mm. and it's not the case. Mm. But yesterday, on your own Facebook, yeah. you wrote some very interesting things. Uh, you said the bling bling lifestyle. Um, it's not. It's a warning that you are putting out to footballers. You went on to say uh, your parents and all parents tell their kids to invest, but. We don't listen as footballers. Why were you on Facebook? Why were you pushing this message? And it seemed like it was coming from a personal place for you. Uh, there, there's one reason I did that. Firstly is that I, th I see a lot of youngsters having a dream of playing professional football. And uh, I, I see every soccer player, most of them, not everybody, so that m most of people will think that soccer players do the same thing. There are players that they've got a clever mind to think of tomorrow. Mm. But most of the players, we do the same thing. Firstly is, you come What from did you do? Because when you talk general, I think oh, most people all right. forget, don't let, get it. Let me did talk about live, myself. Did you live, where, now love us, did you live a bling bling lifestyle? Did you not listen to your parents? I don't think I lived the bling bling life, but it's just that when I grew up, I grew up without a plan. I was never being capacitated on financial literacy. I was never been told how to handle money. Mm. I grew up in a poor family. Mm. My parents were not educated. And I don't have to blame my parents because there are a lot of kids that came from poor families today, they are something. Mm. The, fa the, the reason why is that I, I had so many friends. I, I, I couldn't even. Bon yeah, I, I had too many friends. Papaya. They never came into my life to improve my life, but just to 
to enjoy that space. But what guy? Hey, what guy? Hey, some I didn't even know their names. You know, one day I wake up in my house and there's a friend. I said, Who are you? He said, No, I came with you last night. You know, there were a lot of friends around mm. me. But the problem is one is, um, I thought I was a hero. I was, I, I thought I was worshipped. Mm. You know, money. I'll just finish money so quickly, but so if I knew Sundowns was winning every week, then I'll have money when we win. Mm. You know, unfortunately, Lotto was not there that time because I was going to bet for Sundowns every time. But the thing is that um, I was my worst enemy. Uh, whenever I did things, I never thought of tomorrow. But what's up? My life was too, was, uh, there was too many women in my life. Too many women. Uh, my mother, when, he used to, when, when she used to tell me that I must invest, um, I said, this is my money. You know, the first paycheck. So, ma, can I take it? Yeah, I mean, that, that's, that's what you say. And, uh, you know, and our parents also get more protective of us because of whenever we do wrong things, but they think, they, they forget that <laughs> in the next few years, the career might be finished. You said something interesting. When you talk about, I mean, we're not saying there's anything wrong with women mm -hmm. or whatever, but you said uh, on, your, on, your, on your Facebook page, stick to one woman. Uh, because you dumped the first girlfriend, the girl who supported you on the dusty streets. So, is that important? Uh, for me, it's important, not for everybody. For me, it's important. The reason why, firstly, is uh, people that they grew up with you, especially women that grew up with you, they, they have less ex expectations. If I'm from Alexandra, the ambition, her ambition would be, would be staying in East Bank. Uh, people that meet you, that sees on TV, they just want to go to Santon. Uh, he's from, she's from maybe in a rural area or wherever. They just want to go to an expensive place that they can even maintain. And once you get broke, they disappear. Mm. That, that, that's, that's, what, that's what they do. What you're saying today is an important thing. Do you think players today, um, because there's been a bit of a gap and the money now is a lot, they're earning a lot of money, are still finding them in the situation that you found yourself in? Yes, <laughs> I think there's a lot of players. I've seen a lot of players that they've just retired two years ago. They're going through a tough time. Mm. I've spoken to other few players. They've accepted that life is tough. But the thing is that I think uh, we need to learn one thing. Uh, if no one tells the story about what happened, I decided that I need to tell the story. People mm. must understand. They must not, never hear it from someone else. I'm saying that, guys, let's study. Let's make sure that when we retire, there's something that we do. Mm. We're all begging for jobs, we're all begging for money, we're all begging for so many things. Mm. But if we have lessened, or if the teams did give us a chance to be capacitated or financial literacy and all those things, I think we'll be better. But at the end of the day, <coughs> let's not blame anyone, let's blame ourselves. Because of when we did all those things, you know, we had opportunity to say no to whoever that we had, friends and everything. We bought cars, we bought everything. Today, those cars that we drive, we don't have. We need to take a taxi. Mm. And when a person asks you in a taxi, I remember one day one woman asked me in a taxi, said, are you lovers? I said, no, I'm not lovers. I said, but lady, are you in this taxi to ask people who they are, or are you in this taxi to go to town? <laughs> you know, those are the things. Mm. You know, you even get embarrassed about, you know, you know, your family get embarrassed that, you know, you're part of the family. But it's life. You know, we need to look forward. We cannot go back. But the only thing that you need to do is that players, Please put your money that way. Invest. Invest in the right businesses. Don't just invest, you know, because at the end of the day, you'll invest and lose money and you end up being like me. Mm. Yeah. Do you regret the life that you used to live? I do. The only thing that I'm happy that I gave everything in my career, whenever I was put in the fall to mm. play, I always gave 100%. Mm. But my life was just so terrible that sometimes when I look back, you know, I had so many girlfriends. I remember one day I had 16 girlfriends in my party. At your party? Yeah. Mm. I, had, I, had, well, I had 15 girlfriends at my party. Um, sometimes I'll send someone to go fetch a girlfriend in Newcastle. Uh, half time when you play, uh, half time there will be a security on my door, hotel door, so nobody must come in. Eventually I'll leave a card under the carpet for some, a girlfriend to come in. Love us. You're giving us the secrets, and I've run out of the time, and I know South Africans want to hear a lot more about what happened on the other side of the door, but we're not going to get there. Um, the last thing I want to say, though, is, in listening to you tonight, what you're saying and how you're saying it is so important. Are you, are you doing something to try and 
get this message to footballers, not just once on SABC, but uh, what are you doing? How, how are you making sure that this gets heard? Uh, I got a foundation, which is called Masala Foundation. Uh, I was given a platform to talk to Sundance players. I've spoken to Platinum Stars players. Uh, I cannot do this alone. Mm. I need partners. I hope somebody is, listen, is listening so that we can make everything possible mm. to make sure these players, they become better players after their career. Uh, and also hope that the government is listening. So uh, uh, this thing is not about soccer players only, it's about actors, singers, mm. and, and ordinary South Africans. But you know, I need to partner with somebody to, to make this possible. I don't have a budget to do it on my own, but as I'm saying that, you know what, when I was playing soccer, I had a life cover, which I didn't even know uh, I was in short. But now I got a life cover that I know that I've lived my life, I couldn't take care of my kids. But whenever I die, at least there is something that I have with liberty to know that at least I'm covered. Love us, Mutlala. He's made his plea. Um, we've given him the platform tonight to do it, and I know our Sport at 10 viewers, someone out there is thinking, I can work with this guy. We can make something happen, and hopefully you get hold of Lavis and, and make it happen, because it's so important. Lavis, I appreciate that you come through, and I think more importantly, your contribution on the football field for our country was brilliant. We loved it. No, thanks, Baba. Hey, now, woman, some are cool now. Ah, <laughs> <geez>. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> <laughs>